This is um, uh, perspective homework. So um, just like you might learn the times tables with cramming, the, um, this is a task to help you sort out um, how to get a fay with some two point perspective. And so what we're gonna do is draw lots of cubes. There's 14 on this sheet, um, but you're gonna try and fit on as many as you can. I'm measuring eight centimeters up. You can measure any distance up. I've just made that number up as long as it's the same on both sides. So this is quite dark, so you could see it on the camera, but I would do it quite light. Then um, I'm gonna draw a line that's about two centimeters. That can be dark because um, it's gonna be definitely confirmed there. And then this is a very light line going to that vanishing point, which was the eight centimeter mark. Then on the other side, I'm gonna draw a light line going off to the eight centimeter mark, which is just here. Um, then I can confirm those marks, these marks, because I know that they're going to be permanent. So there we go, that finishes off the line. And then from there, I'm going to draw this line in quite dark, because I know that those are going to be permanent. And the same on the other side, um, like this. From the top there, I'm going to draw a line off to the other vanishing point on the opposite side and uh, there to that vanishing point. And then from here, I know where the line's going to stop on this vanishing point. So what I'm gonna do is draw a line quite hard because I know where that's going. This one, I'm going to then confirm in. Lines there are construction lines, as you can see. That'd be okay, might look quite nice. Um, but obviously don't draw too hard, only when you know that you want to confirm the line. So here I'm gonna draw another line, about two centimeters, a little bit shorter perhaps, doesn't quite matter. And then those two lines go off to the vanishing point over here. I can confirm this line, because I know that was going to be in. So there's one side of my cube. Then on the other side, I'm gonna draw off to the vanishing point. So one, I know there's three now, because I've got three sides to work on. And then I'm going to draw a line down. I know that those lines are gonna be darker now because I don't have to use light construction lines. Also that line, I don't need to light construction line. It can go in, and so this line, make sure it's on the vanishing point. And then, there we go, I've got two cubes. Now, the difficult one is, of course, when you get a cube that's going to be underneath. So if I'm going to draw a cube here and it's going to be hidden, um, I'm going to draw a line off. I just made up that length measurement. I'm going to go off to the vanishing point like before, quite light. That line is going to go off to the vanishing point. This line's going off to this vanishing point and there. Now, when I draw that line down quite hard, because I know it's going to be confirmed, it's hidden behind the other block now. What I need to do really is draw this line in. Bottom line can be quite dark now because that's going to be permanent. But what I want to do is spot where that line goes. So it's going to go there. So that line is going to go off to that vanish point. You can imagine that this line going off there, that's just going to be hidden underneath. So that's how to hide a cube underneath. So um, as you can see on the one I started, there's about, there's 14 cubes there. So um, I shaded some of them, um, so you can uh, get a 3D effect. Um, again, with this, there's gonna be 15 cubes now. You just draw a line down. From that line, you draw a line off to the vanishing point. Line off to the vanishing point, and then you draw your vertical line in. Coincidence, they actually hit that line exactly. This line goes off to this vanishing point. There and there. I'm going to confirm that then, and that means I can draw those in. And then that line is going to be hidden behind the cube. Um, if you get one which is really close to the vanishing point over this side, you're going to get like an extreme um, view, so an uh, extreme angle, I should say. So that would go down to that vanishing point, that goes down to that vanishing point, and then this line will go straight down. You are um, drawing a line which is exactly on the um, eight centimeter line, you will find that you um, don't see the top or the bottom. And so when you get a line which is just uh, here, this line, because it's between the two vanishing points, you actually 
won't actually you won't actually see the top or the bottom so they there would only get those lines coming off that's the belt for a break I'd like to have a go at that for homework that's on A5 paper this is a student that uh, did a really lovely one they filled it in with marker pens obviously if you lovely um, the practice that you had in class was on A4 but I would like it A5 so it can fit into your little folders okay and that's it